Hi, I'm Chef Tammy Brawley from The Green Kitchen and welcome to Heart of the Home. Today I'm going to show you guys a delicious cookie recipe. You may already make a version of these or even these, but this is a soft ginger cookie. I love making these at Christmas time along with my other cookies. And today we're going to start with two cups of all-purpose flour. We're going to add a teaspoon of ground cloves, a teaspoon of ground ginger, We're going to add a teaspoon of baking soda. We're going to add a quarter teaspoon of salt. Now, if you've seen my episodes before, you realize that most of the time I don't measure, but baking is pretty crucial. You must measure. It is an exact science, I must say. And then to that, we're going to add um, some sugar. Now, I got a little trick to show you today when I was packing to, 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 for filming. I have sugar that I actually keep in a mason jar that when I have dried spices, such as a dried vanilla bean or um, a dried star anise, I will add that to the sugar, and that gives that sugar that nice flavor. And so that's what I've done in this case. This has been in my shelf for a while, and I'm going to strain the, uh, the fresh ingredients or the dried ingredients in here. So you can see these. I have a cinnamon stick, I have a star anise, and I have vanilla bean. So these are dried um, spices, and um, now I will give a smell absolutely wonderful. It might change the ginger flavor just a little, but not much. And we want a cup of sugar in this, but I am actually going to leave some of it in the bowl, and you'll see why in a few minutes. So we're going to add most of that in there. And we're just going to kind of toss it around a little bit. And now we're going to add a quarter of a cup of uh, molasses as well. So I'm just going to use my handy-dandy little measure here, give roughly a quarter of a cup. Molasses is going to give it that nice chewy texture and flavor. And then we're going to add the shortening and an egg. All right, and an egg. Some people feel safe cracking an egg over a bowl to avoid shells. I've done it enough times that I feel comfortable doing it bare like that. So now we want to actually mix it up with a mixer, hand mixer, stand mixer, either one, it doesn't matter. Obviously you want to start on low. I think we're doing all right. Now don't worry about it being too dry. This is going to come together more than you think. I can see it's already starting to do that. It's getting that nice brown molasses color to it. You hear the mixer slowing down a little bit. All right, and that's pretty much ready. You want to get just kind of a, you know, a little couple fingerfuls. How big do you want the cookies? That's up to you. You might want big ones, you might want smaller ones. You want them to come together in a ball. And this is where that uh, little uh, sugar that I left over a little while ago in the bowl, this is where that's going to come in handy. You're going to roll your balls, get them all rolled out, and then you want to take that excess sugar that you've saved, and you want to put your cookies in there, and you just want to kind of roll them around. Get them coated with the sugar. Let them go into a parchment lined sheet tray. And we're going to roll up the rest of them and we're going to pop them in the oven. All right, so we rolled our soft ginger cookies in some granulated sugar. We put them on a parchment lined sheet tray and into a 350 degree oven for about 10 minutes or so. And now we're going to take them out and we're going to put them on a nice little doily lined tray. I would recommend that you let them cool a little bit before you try to eat them. Um, but then again, I have burned the roof of my mouth on many occasions when it comes to good cookies. There you have it, another great cookie recipe to add to your repertoire at the holidays. I'm Chef Tammy Brawley from The Green Kitchen. We hope you join us next time on Heart of the Home. 
Recipes from the heart of the home can be found on the Virginia Farm Bureau website at vafb.com slash recipes, as well as on Chef Tammy Brawley's website at greenkitchenrichmond.com.